guys, it is me him back once again with another Destiny video and today I'm going to be doing a little bit of a rant on the Rift game mode for Iron Banner because personally, I'm not a fan of Rift but uh, Rift and Iron Banner has been a little bit of a mixed bag for me so I just want to give my, my, my couple of views on it but anyway, sorry for being gone for the last couple of weeks I've been really busy actually so I haven't been able to even play very much let alone upload and by the way, the footage in the background is a no mercy we got on some scrubs in Iron Banner like literally like 10 15 minutes ago it was awesome but anyway without further ado let's get straight into the video okay guys so as i said iron banner this week is rift now i know the week is almost over it's literally over in like one day and then we have srl but i really wanted to talk about this because this is actually something that was kind of confusing me because I, i'm terrible at rift but i just wanted to talk about this but anyway so basically if you don't know what rift is it's pretty much just capture the flag but when you drop the flag it resets and then it doesn't spawn back for a while which is actually kind of cool but i mean it can cause a lot of problems if you're playing wrong or you know even if the spawns or the timing is off so anyway first of all obviously the big thing with a lot of game modes but namely this one is if you do not have a good team you're screwed basically if you don't have a good team you will not be playing this game very well at all the problem with this is in other game modes you can actually get carried by one or two players that's just how it works like a, if you're playing control or rumble or clash like you know, not rumble what am i saying control or clash you can literally just be carried by two three teammates and you'll be fine you can just coast on through and you'll be grabbed but this this if you're not playing with good teammates you're pretty much screwed you need to have good teammates in this and it can be a really big problem this causes the game to be quite one-sided for, for instance in this game here where we got like a 20,000 points to 1,000 win uh, with a no mercy which is kind of awesome I was really happy because it's like the first no mercy I've gotten so long but anyway yeah on to my second point considering this game is so close quarters like you need to be trying to you know kill the spark runner etc shotguns are absolutely key now I've seen a lot of people using guns such as fusion rifles in the branded lord is out this this week for iron banner but shotguns like the last ditch was which I have been using religiously for this and then also you know the matador and the party crasher the matador with a full range roll is absolutely beast in this but uh, I've been finding the last ditch actually pretty pretty good in this but then yeah so shotguns are absolutely essential for this because if you're really if you're on your rift and you see a rift runner coming towards you you can just whip out your shotgun and one hit him it's actually so easy but anyway next is map control map control is absolutely key for this if you if your team is all rushing forward and then gets killed doesn't have enough time to spawn back then the enemy rift runner can just go and just wipe you out before like they can go get the rift before you guys have actually respawned and it, it means it means you're at a disadvantage straight away so map control is key making sure people stay back near the rift and also stay kind of closer together near the mid of the map because that's really where you have to control for the rift next guys we have these supers and you know saving and conserving your supers because this is so important i can't actually stress enough how important saving your supers are because if you're in a tight spot and you need your super fine if you want to stay alive yeah but supers can come in extremely handy if you need to get someone off a rift or if there's an enemy that's going to be getting onto your rift with the spark you can take them out, let's say with the Voidwalker subclass or if you have Blade, La Blade Dancer. Blade Dancer is absolutely beast in this, I've been finding, absolutely loving it. But yeah, Voidwalker is absolutely key for this. I've been loving Voidwalker personally, but... And yeah, with that, uh, obviously also agility is absolutely key. So using things like the Mighty Multi-Tool, which I didn't actually have, so I couldn't use it. Mighty Multi-Tool, uh, agility rolls on shotguns are absolutely beast. Kneecaps is also an amazing perk on this. Um, to use if you have a shotgun or a fusion rifle because it makes it absolutely unreal. Anyway guys, the last thing I want to talk about is the use of the glitch and blink jumps on the Hunter and the Warlock, namely on the Void Walker, which is what I'm using right now because it is so OP. I've never used blink ever before in my entire life. And I just started using it for this Iron Banner and I've discovered that it's absolutely insane. So now I think I can be using it a lot more often. But yeah, use these, they're absolutely insane and they definitely help you to get out, out of some tight spots, especially if you're running with the Rift. But anyway guys, that is it from me, Himan. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe and share. Make sure you uh, forgive me for my lack of uploads. I will not be uploading for the next couple of days. I'll be uploading Monday, Tuesday and then I will be like taking a break until like the 20th and then I'll be uploading straight through to the 23rd of January. But anyway guys, hope you guys enjoyed. I will see you in the next video guys. Hitman, out. See you guys. Together we're invincible